Okay, first graders. So we just finished talking about wind and the weather. And now we are going to create a painting that shows all of those great things that we learned about the wind and the weather. So the first thing we have is we have our nice long paper and we have it folded into four equal spaces. So in each one we are going to show a different kind of wind, different type of weather. So in the first one we're going to have calm wind and then a nice light breeze in the second one. And the third one is going to be a strong wind. And in the fourth square we're going to have gale force winds. So that one's going to be pretty crazy. So the first thing we're going to do in each our, of our boxes is we are going to draw a flag just like the ones we saw in the slideshow about the different types of flags that show if it's safe to swim or not. We're going to draw a flag in the corner of each box. So for the first box we're going to draw the flagpole and it's going to start right at the bottom and it's going to come up about that far and then it's going to go over and back down so it's a nice oops nice skinny rectangle and then we're going to draw a flag on there if it's calm wind what will the flag look like will it be blowing will it be laying down flat what will our flag look like right so we are going to draw our flag laying down and our flags are triangle shaped so it's going to be like a long skinny triangle because it's not blowing in the wind. It's laying down flat right next to the pole, just like that. Nice skinny triangle laying down flat. It's just waiting for some wind to come. So in our next box, we're going to draw another flag. So we need to draw the flag pole. We want it to be about the same height as the last one. Just like that. Right there. And then this one's going to have a light breeze. So what do you think our, our flag will look like if it's just a nice breeze? It's not a strong wind. It's not completely calm like the last one. What do you think our flag will look like? So it's going to be just blowing a little bit. So for this one, it's going to look like a wavy flag because it's blowing just a little bit. So we're going to make it go down and over just like that. And then we're going to do the same shape here. It's going to go down and over and then it's going to come up and they're going to make a nice little point. So we've got a nice little gentle breeze. And this one it's going to be a strong, strong wind. So we're going to draw our flagpole again. Nice, tall, skinny rectangle. And we're going to draw it in the strong wind. What do you think the strong wind flag will look like? Right, so we are going to make it go straight out. It's blowing straight out because the wind is so strong that it's just standing on end. And our last one is gale force winds. Those are those super, super, super strong winds. So for this one, when we draw our flagpole, instead of drawing it straight up and down, it's going to curve just a little bit. It's going to curve just a little bit because the wind is so strong it's making the pole bend. So we're going to draw that pole and it's curving at the top just a little bit because it's so super windy out. And what do you think the flag's going to look like on this one? Yeah, it's going to be blowing like crazy strong, right? We're going to make that really blowing in the wind. All right, so we have our four flags, our calm day, our breezy day, the strong wind, and the gale force wind. So next we get to draw 
a horizon line. We're going to show where the sand and the water meet and another one where the water and the sky meet. So I'm going to start with where the sand and the water meet. So for where the sand and the water meet, we're going to draw a line and it's going to go right through our flags. So when we get to the flagpole, we're going to just stop. So we're going to go a little line and it stops. And then we'll continue it on the other side and it'll go across the paper all the way till it gets to the other flagpole and then it'll stop. And then we're going to draw a nice straight line from there on the other side all the way over till we touch that other flagpole and stop. And then we'll do another one nice and straight all the way till we touch that other flagpole and stop. And then we're going to keep going on the next one all the way until we touch the edge of our paper. So that's where our sand and our water meet. The next thing we're going to do is draw a line to show where our waves in the sky meet. But the waves where our land and our water meet and the waves where the sky and the, and the, and the line where the water and the sky meet are going to be a little different because the water is not always going to be flat. Sometimes it's going to be wavy. So we're going to have to look and kind of figure out what the waves are going to look like based on what the wind is doing each day. So on this day, it's a nice calm day. So what do you think the, wind, the waves will look like? Right, they're just going to be flat, right? So we're going to draw just about in the middle of our paper. We're going to draw just nice flat line like that because the water is nice and calm. It's not too windy. In our next one, it's a breezy day. What do you think the water is going to look like? Yeah, it's probably still going to be pretty flat. Maybe it has just a little bit of a, a ripple in it from the wind, but not too much. So if you want to make it just a tiny bit wavy like this, very little, hardly any at all. Almost straight across because it's just a nice light breeze, right? And our next one is a strong wind. So what do you think the waves are going to look like in our strong wind? Yeah, they are going to be bigger, right? We're going to have some big waves. So for our big waves, we're going to make them go up. And then we're going to dip down, up, and dip down, up, and dip down. And I want you to notice, if we were to draw a nice light line here, all of these waves are going to touch that line. So they're going to go straight across there. Even though there's bumps in them, it's going to look like it's going in a straight line still. So we're going to keep drawing those waves up, down, up, down, up, down, until we get to here. So there's our strong wind day. Now these are gale force winds. So what are our waves going to look like in gale force winds? Yeah, there are going to be some huge waves, right? So we're going to draw a nice huge waves for the gale force winds. They're going to be like ginormous waves. Big, huge, ginormous waves. They're so big I can only fit two on the page. Look at that. Huge. So now we have our waves for each of the days. Calm, breezy, strong, and gale force. The next thing we need, we need a sun. But we don't draw corner suns, right? In art class, we draw circle suns. So I'm going to draw a circle sun right here. And that's going to be our sun for all of our picture because the sky is going to continue over. So we'll pretend that's the sun for all of our picture. Great job drawing today.